uh, mate. I don't think so somehow, my friend. I did not think that that was going to happen, but it just did. But, uh, yeah. Mama told me, one day I'm going to grow up big and I'm going to be a king. And my papa told me, it's okay to say what well, shit hurts. Don't forget your dreams because they'll get you through this. So far life to call living, but I call it strange and I bet I'll do Yo guys, what is going on? It is TC or Darcy back here. Now welcome back to another series of the uh, Rust Silo Survival series for the server. Just like pretty much every other server has just wiped. Um, we're going to jump on, get sitting at like something quickly. Just to get started with, I really don't know what we're doing. Uh, we'll probably make like an axe or something. We'll get that node that's right there in front of us. Uh, we'll do something clever. I don't know. Uh, there's some cloth there as well. I might grab quickly before anyone else does spawn in and quickly grab it. So, yeah. Um, 130. Let's just grab this. Let's grab this node. If we can get like a really nice start and not even die once, that would be fucking amazing. But we all know that's not going to happen. We all know I've got to die at least five times in this, uh, this episode, guys. It's like a mandatory rule of this game. I'm going to quickly grab this cloth because I know if I don't, then someone else will and they'll make a bow and kill me straight away, so... Um, yeah, hopefully there's like five pieces. If there is, we can make a bar ourselves, And then we'll be very good. Uh, people already asked if it's wiped. Of course it's wiped. Can you not see? Are you blind? There's loads of hemp around here, guys. I want a phone. There we go. 200 wood, 100 stone. A little bit more stone, a little bit more wood. Fuck. I may not want to alarm myself, but there is a bear right there. Grab some more of this, and then we'll then find somewhere to place put our nice little base that we want to put down. Now, nah, mate, we're fucking running. We're out. We're out. I'm so close. Come on. He's fucking dead. Yes, boys. Come on. Oh, oh he's got some bandages on him. Holy shit. Holy fucking shit. We're taking that bow like right now. Uh, we're going to bandage up as much as we can. And then we're then going to find a nice place to put our base. Holy fucking shit, man. He has so much cloth in him as well. We're envisioning the dome. That's good. Cannot complain. Uh, Clever can't escape that way, but we should hopefully be able to catch him. And if we can't, it's not an issue. Come to go hit some trees because I didn't realise we didn't actually have like fucking any wood, so. I 
uh, mate. I don't think so somehow, my friend. I did not think that that was going to happen, but it just did. But, uh, yeah. Alright. Let's take this off. Let's put this on, spam in a random code, and we're all good to go. Okay. We'll chuck that in there, and we're going to go and get a bit more wood, and we're going to come back. Now we've got this code lock, guys. It makes my life so much easier. The second I leave now, I know that I, if I die, I can go back to base and I actually have a base to go back to. I mean, now I know that this, this base is going to be like easily stoned up like that. Like, the whole thing is now stone. Um, is it? We were good? Yeah, the whole base is now stone. So in terms of raiding, I think tonight we should be okay. Um, judging by the people that are on the server right now, we should be okay just for the night. But I do kind of want two metal doors, so that's something I'm going to work towards. That's why I need this, uh, this hatchet so bad. There's a guy around there somewhere with a fucking Tommy. Bring him up, we are less than an hour into the WAP right now. Fuck me, man. Fuck me. Oh, there's no on the beat. Uh, this area over here, so that's good. I thought there was another airdrop coming in there. I was say, what, what? <laughs> like, what? I'd go to that one if there was one. Oh fuck. Easiest hatchet of my life, guys. I've seen someone. And they've seen that I've seen them. Are they running away or are they going to come back and fight? No, they're running away. Just pretend I'm good at this game. I just like to tend to scare people off. Like, I'm not even good at the game. I just tend to scare people off, which is a good thing. Keeps them away from me, which means I can do my own business. Got 120 cloth on me right now. That's ridiculous, guys. How fucking stupid that is. Alright guys, we're so close. Come on, last few hits. Come on. Two. One, let's go. <sighs> now that base has been expanded a hell of a lot now, hasn't it? Wow, look at this. Look at this, right. Now, let's start taking stuff like this. We need just a little bit more, yep. And then we're then gonna grab one of these boys. Get one of them going straight away. We're gonna stick this behind here. We're gonna put the majority of the loot in there today. I'm going to put some furnaces across there, I think. Uh, maybe it's another loot thing here. And that will probably be the base for now. I don't really know, but we're going to do something. We'll do something with this base. The fuck knows what it'll end up being, though. There will be something. I know what it will be, though. There will be something, though. Something magical, guys. Something magical. Uh, definitely not magical. What we've got to do is wait for just a little bit more wood now, and then uh, we should be good. He's in a bow fight. Let's go for it, boys. We'll join in a minute and see if we can grab him quick. Oh, fuck. I just got not dead yet. What? There we go. Oh, GG. We just got absolutely destroyed, guys. <laughs> what a play. What a fucking play from that guy. Don't worry guys, we're gonna get him back if we can. Oh, 
Oh, mate, that guy is an absolute beast. Alright, um, so yeah, this is the end of the Rust Tires um, episode. I hope you guys did enjoy this video. If you did, remember to smash that like button, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out, everybody.